live stream. But there's some other stuff we're going to show off the judging, first. You know? Yeah, this is the judging panel. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Vivek. Uh, I work in the research team. I'm Harold. I also uh, work in the research team. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Chris. Yeah, I work on production and comms. So here we are. We're in the research office today, and there's some pretty exciting stuff going on at research. Yeah, uh, we can also start with uh, Vivek if you want to talk about yeah. what you're working on with the bank roads. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm working on the uh, bank roads problem. So the problem is uh, when you are in a turn, um, it's usually the road is usually has a bank, right? So this is you might have studied it in uh, physics problems where you know. Uh, the vehicle should not slip off the road, so there is a bank. Uh, because of this, the amount of steering you need to give to achieve the same sort of degree of turn is different. Uh, if it was a straight straight road versus if it was you know, a banked road, um, so the result that we f that we see in Open Pilot is uh, if you are on a banked road and you're turning, you tend to typically overcut, which is you you go into the turn. Uh, which is not desirable. So yeah, this is especially true on uh, on laneless. If you guys have been driving laneless, you'll notice that that's a, a big problem with laneless still. It'll cut the turns a little bit too much. Um, and yeah, I think that's one of the big things that uh, laneless can still be improved on. So uh, hopefully, the next yes. project will bring fruition soon, and that'll that'll be improved. And uh, hopefully, one of the next releases. Um, yeah, should we go through some? I can show some of the exciting stuff we've been working on here in research as well. Uh, these are our uh, training graphs of uh, the model that's going to be released in 0810. Um, Looks good. What are the for for someone who doesn't know like me? What what's like the blue and what's the what's the red line? Oh, so this is uh, this is for everything. We train a lot of outputs. So this is the loss for the the entire model, and then just individual outputs. And so loss is. Uh, kind of some cost, right? So you want to keep that minimal. It's basically how accurate it is in uh, predicting um, the ground truth um, in, in a variety of situations. And I mean, in this case, it's mostly just like path and lane lines, like you can see in some of these issue images here. So the closer it matches the ground truth path and lane lines, the lower this value will become. So you can see here training over time. This model took, I think, a little over a day to train. You can see the, the plots going down difference being the the red ones the validation so that's what we test on so 10 percent of your data gets uh separated into uh test cases and then 90 percent is what we train on you can see those two things being different here yeah why do we have that initial spike over in the big loss Let's go oh this initial spike is uh i mean that's kind of a quirk of the type of loss function we use we have uh um we output multiple plans so there's multiple hypotheses for the plans oh it takes longer now to spike yeah, yeah. It changed. I changed the weighting quite a bit on this. That was one of the bugs that we fixed in this release. Did you downweighted or upweighted? It? Upweighted it. Huh. So we downweighted this, and it was just sometimes picking garbage solutions. Uh, but yeah, so basically, this is kind of like a competitive thing. That this, the ground truth for this depends on the model, so it kind of changes throughout you tra uh, throughout training. So this is kind of not the shape you normally see during training. Um, I think we explained that a little bit better in some of the blog posts. The way these hypothesis uh, dr models work is kind of a little bit more complicated. Um, well, right here we have a new, new thing we're trying out. We thought maybe it'd be nice to explain some of the things we're changing in the release. So we wrote, a, we're well, we're still in the process of writing it, but we thought we'd write a little blog post explaining some of the, the big changes. Hopefully some people that are interested in the more detailed changes, but you know, don't want to read through the commits of OpenPilot can, uh, can get something out of this. Yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Do I don't want to show the... Oh, we can show our last, uh, our last innovation here in research is uh, if you guys have seen some of our blog posts, you know we use a simulator to train in where here's kind of a simulator where you can move around left and right, forward and back. So now we're moving forward and back. The, it's actually taking diff frames from the video. You can see that truck in the left moving. Uh, but with this latest one, uh, if we now freeze the frame, we can, from the same frame, move around, left, right, forward, back. And you can see it, it doesn't really look that distorted. It's a pretty, pretty good simulation. So this is some latest improvements we made. That's and thanks to Carl Pencil. Comma yeah, pencil. comma pencil is a big part of this. This is uh, all this warping is based on the se segnet. We use the segnet outputs, make some assumptions based on the depth of the road plane and uh, and just the depth of the surrounding. And you can see this beautiful reprojection. It's uh, almost looks like GTA Five. Yeah, I think like that's uh, 
biggest updates from research. It's pretty fast now, too. Yeah, it's not bad, isn't it? Uh, we're yeah. training somewhere? Uh, yeah, it's training now. It's, it's twice slow in total, which is not too bad. <laughs> well, we're getting a new office. We're getting a big data center. Yeah. yeah. Big things happening. Yeah, very exciting things. I think you guys will be excited about this latest release, too. It's, uh, it's been about a month or something, and we've gotten quite a few improvements in it, so... Um, yeah, on, if you look at the release notes, you'll just see like, you know, new driver monitoring models. So that's why we really wanted to kind of explain a bit more like what these things actually mean. Uh, because, it's, you know, it's pretty cool. There's some cool little tricks we do. This is like mask on augmentation. And then uh, field of view of comma three is starting to be used for uh, for the driver monitoring. So that's pretty cool. All right. Do we want to want to go check yeah, out let's do it. Let's do it. the videos? Thank you all for submitting your awesome videos to the video contest. It means a lot. Uh, we, you know, we love seeing content, love seeing people driving with open pilot and uh, enjoying what we do. So definitely means a lot. Sure. Oh, ooh, we got let's another another thing to check out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking into training uh, depth nets. So the Comma 3 has much better picture quality than the, uh, than the Comma 2. So we're hoping we can finally train unsupervised depth nets. And you can look at these three frames here. And uh, you see how the, you know, it's like three in a sequence. So yeah. using just this picture, you can figure out the depth of all the objects in the scene. And this was never possible on Comma 2 data uh, because if when you looked at the road on a Comma 2, it would just look kind of blurry. But this is comma three data, and if you look at the road, look at that texture we can capture. That's a lot of texture. Yeah, so using this texture, we can figure out how far away the road is uh, based on how the texture moves. And this is, this is just a Google paper. Wow, look look at that road texture. Oh, yeah. Right, and you know, the two so is detailed. blurry, uh, blurry crap. Other yeah. people's skid marks will help us uh, learn depth. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, another, another innovation coming down the pipe. <laughs> Anything to say about the videos you like? Like community content? It's good. Uh, are we watching the videos? Or is this yeah. one of those things where it's like the Academy Awards where they know already who's going to win? We, we already. Just, we know who's going to win? We know it's who's like going to win. It's like the Academy Awards. <laughs> we have the envelope. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> Peanut Butter Loser. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, let's go. Uh, well, let's build the suspense anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Build yeah, the yeah. suspense. Yeah, nobody knows. They don't know who's going to win yet. <laughs> I mean, we'll start with honorable mentions, first of all. The first category we're going to talk about, there's two categories, remember? First category was a general review of your comma device, comma three. And the second category uh, was laneless videos, showing off laneless. I mean, they can kind of overlap a bit. But anyway, here's uh, honorable mention. Wait, did this guy uh, follow the turning the speed blue to <laughs> turning the path blue? Uh, he's just running a fork. I see. <laughs> um, but yes, if you're in here, here's Pinoy. your video. Pinoy, Pinoy drives. Let's check it out. It's pretty cool. Hi. That's me driving hands free on my Subaru Forester. You know, not many people use Subarus. Yes. <laughs> so this is cool. I uh, wonder which TV the audio is coming out of. <laughs> oh, is it coming out of all of them? Oh, it's coming out of the bottom one. <laughs> Um, wow, look, it's a common three. Oh, that, that screen looks so nice. Yeah, right? Such so a big black. screen. Such Ooh. deep black. Comma three. Oh, you can see the... You can see nature around you. Yeah. That's a good device. Yeah, that's a... Oh, that would have been fun. Yeah. But it's pretty comprehensive video, you know, it talks about what is open pilot, uh, it talks about their experience with it. They even do some laneless drives in here, which is pretty cool. This is on like a laneless country road. Oh yeah, I love laneless drives. Yeah, laneless drives are great. Uh, yeah, you so, can see that the car is, uh, you know, going on the right side of the road. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So it just knows like a human. Um, like a human. But yeah, this is a great video and discord i'm going to post a playlist that has all the finalists in there and uh you can all check out the videos they're also all on our community uh videos tab on the youtube channel 
Were you quite impressed by all the late, late submissions? There yeah, there's quite a few, today quite a few late submissions. Um, Procrastinators are always the best. Yes, so, all right, next, uh, next up is a Let It Drive video. We like Let It Drive. Let It Drive is pretty cool. Whoa, we got a cookie? No way. <laughs> Homemade. Uh, so this is pretty cool. We kind of broadened up the category of uh, Comma 3 review to just kind of be a general review of Open Pilot because some people don't yet have Comma 3s. Uh, so Wait, this is a, I thought this was a pay to win category. <laughs> pay to win. Well, yeah. no, pay to play. <laughs> pay to play. <laughs> yeah, the, the winner does have a Comma 3, to be fair. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. That's right. So yeah, this guy's driven over ten thousand miles with uh, Open Pilot, and he he gives some. That's a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot, that's right? Cool. Ten thousand. Ten thousand miles with Open Pilot. Wow, what percent of all the miles? Yeah, that's a pretty good. Pretty good <laughs> contributor. I've got probably twenty-five. I I think I have too. Yeah. Yes. Um, but you know what I like about this video is he has a whole section about things he wish he wishes he understood better before he bought it. Things like torque limit, like mm. car specific limitations, you know, it's stuff that we don't communicate very well yet. So I mean, I think it's nice. We don't just want a review where you're just saying all these nice things about us and nothing critical at all. Yeah, I think I, I especially like the part where uh, he did not know that uh, the ACC was stuck for a long time after he started using yeah. it. He was confused <laughs> why, why it wasn't... Uh, why it wasn't getting better. Yeah, right? why all the YouTube videos that you saw were so good, but then his car was not that great. Mm. So it was stuck. So yeah, that's good to know these yeah, things. No, it's not just about the good stuff. We want a clear, honest, honest picture. That's right. People should know what they're getting into. Yeah, so I think this video does a really great job of that. You know, providing some things you should know before you order, but then also saying how much he loves uh, loves using Open Pilot. And uh, oh, was that a Civic Type R? That was. That was. That was a, just B roll. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah. He also has a shout out for our uh, awesome support team. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and the Discord. He yeah, talks oh, about the Discord. Yeah, yeah. And the talks Discord, about yeah. Eric in there. Oh, is this, is yeah. this uh, call my API? <laughs> oh, this is B-roll. This is B-roll. <laughs> but yeah, you know, Let It Drive is great. We love Let It Drive. There's some really good stuff. So. Wait, so he uh, says, talks about whether he wants to buy a comma 3. And he decided he didn't want to buy a comma 3. Is that what uh He's saying you should buy a comma three, but he's still chilling with his comma two. He's still waiting. He's happy with his comma two. Yeah. I think he doesn't yet have the money to get a comma three. I see, that's, that's good. But yes, he loves Open Pilot, process. so that's great. That's another honorable mention, and we'll have a little announcement about what honorable mentions so may what, be getting a little bit later. What do honorable mentions get, Chris? Oh, are we announce it? We can announce it now. Every uh, honorable mention gets a hoodie. Yay! <laughs> so, yay! <It's> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, if you're you know on the Discord, feel free to just DM me uh, your size. And but if you're not on Discord and like you're just watching this and your video came up, uh, just email support at comma.ai with your uh, your address and your size, and we'll get a hoodie sent out to you. So that's pretty cool. Nice. That's well, pretty cool. Hey, eighty nine dollar value, right? These comma hoodies are real good. Yeah, yeah, comma hoodies are super nice. So yeah, get some nice merch. All right, we ready for the winner of the comma three category? Yeah, let's do it. Who's, who's doing the drum roll? <laughs> Late submission, by the way, came out a few hours ago. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Um, people are better at pronouncing names than me. This uh, one's by. I'll go Sheikh uh, Viao. Nice. That sounded really good. It's just uh, a guess. It could be something completely different. I turned my Corolla into a self-driving car. What's this? Is this a brain? Is what a brain? <laughs> the logo. This is my car being driven by open. Oh, yeah, it's, I think a, it's a brain. It's a cyborg brain, I see. Uh, uh, so, yeah, this is a great video. What I like about it most especially is that he kind of explains what's going on at the beginning, like what is open pilot, which is good. I used to do a video uh, a long time ago about what open pilot is, but it's definitely a lot better than what I like I where they show Comic Con clips. Me too. Yeah, there's a lot of great Comic Con footage out there. We really go through a lot of stuff in detail. Yeah, we're very proud Ooh, of go our over, Yeah, go, nice. go right there. Uh, there's a pretty cool installation sequence. Yeah, check it out. Oh yeah, this was super good. Yeah, this was so nice. good. And it you know makes it look pretty easy, which it is pretty easy. It takes some time, but I think anyone can do it. Yeah, just... Uh, 
sticking the mount on correctly with no angle is also a little bit of a you know, just be careful yeah have you installed Harold? uh no not the whole thing no, not no. the whole thing <laughs> I'm, waiting, I'm waiting until uh, it's ready for the consumer experience <laughs> I've installed a lot of mounts though. I feel like a lot of half the time you're like, you accidentally touch the windscreen and I like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, this is great. And then, you know, it, it kind of almost qualified both categories, but in some ways it's more than laneless. Um, but he also shows a lot of great laneless examples going through intersections and things like that. And I think, uh, yeah, it's just really cool how he, he shows it successfully going through uh, intersections in different ways. Also, you know, he's critical, like sometimes it doesn't always go the right way, um, but all stuff we're working to improve, so. Yeah. Yeah. Honest also, reviews. it's, uh, another thing that's pretty cool is uh, this person has been uh, using for a week. Yeah, for so a week. So you can see how his hands are, uh, you know, really around the steering wheel. But if you see the other videos of people uploading, the, especially the guy who drove for like 10,000 miles, mm. you can see that his hands are, uh, you know, quite comfortably on his lap. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, you change your behavior a bit over time, don't you? Yeah. Uh, so that's really yeah let's let's check yeah, out just some uh, of these really yeah cool like his intersection video. tests really cool videos yeah look at this top yeah. down. it's making a curved intersection uh look easy look at that mm. that uh, is that nice lane lines. it's pretty cool oh that's google maps i didn't even realize yeah, isn't that great <laughs> <That's really good>. <laughs> <laughs> i almost did that but then i pulled out my drone for the the videos we did but that's a great way to to show a top down view yeah. i really like that it's a good camera setup i think more people should show off how they rig their cameras right i'll probably do that for us because it's pretty difficult oh, look at this another nice laneless road there nice. so congratulations you win 544 dollars and 46 cents awesome <laughs> this actually i, I yeah, like what? this bit a lot uh the rotary the rotary bit yeah that yeah, was yeah, you know it was really kind of cool. suspenseful is oh, what i liked about on it. ramps or He's in, a, he's in a roundabout. It's a pretty uh, big one. Yeah, it's pretty big. He has an image of the thing. Yeah, there it is. It's this. Yeah, it's a roundabout. It's this. Looks oh, like nice. this. Is this in America? I don't know. I've never seen this. I haven't seen that in America either. Nice. I see you're in the chat, so... Uh, Wait, and this guy has a green path? Well, everyone has different color path. <laughs> he's on Shane's fork, oh, he said. I <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, he's on Shane's fork. Yep. Um, but, yeah, this yeah is super, cool. Alex, super great. Alex, in the judging. Hey guys, Welcome, how's it going? Thanks for all your great submissions. Yeah, they've been. Yeah, the submissions were really great. Did over you there. show my favorite one? <laughs> Which is that one? Which one? The fast. No, no, no not, not yet. Not oh, yet. that's your favorite. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I give, I give that one a crowd favorite. Yeah, <laughs> I like that one too. Maybe we'll play that one in full. You know, it's so short. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, that one's an exciting one. I like that one. Yeah, and this video ends with a nice time lapse, which is always nice. Uh, so it's a very very this good all around video. Yeah, yeah, this was very complete, very informative. Mm -hmm. like yeah, this. so it came out a few hours ago. Very, <laughs> very exciting. Uh, but yeah, five hundred forty-four dollars forty cents. Uh, you know, email support at Come AI if you're not on the Discord. If you are, just message me virtually, Chris. All right. So that's the first category, comma three review. Now let's check out some honorable mentions in the second category, which is laneless. So. I thought this was uh, pretty cool, is the, this guy Welcome has made videos in both, uh, for both categories. Oh, yeah. And they're yeah, honestly both pretty good. So this is... Uh, diversifying his, uh, his yeah. chances. <laughs> He's uploaded, I think, like four videos in the last week, which is great. You know, we love having new open pilot YouTubers come to the scene. Uh, I think education is a big thing and, you know, people need to kind of understand what we're doing and sometimes we can't just be the only one saying it so it's very helpful when people make videos like this yeah i think it's very good because they know the things that they didn't understand before they got into it and the mm. things that they didn't want to didn't want to know beforehand right so, so it's uh, less it's sketchy cool. right when uh, you know people use it and make videos rather yeah, than yeah, just exactly. the company making videos yeah right <laughs> we can try to be honest but uh, yeah. nobody will believe us anyway yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> yeah even if oh, we're the most honest company george is uh <laughs> sneak previewing some hackathon projects Wow, comma hack's gonna be wild. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was a close <laughs> one. We have an announcement too. This is a minor announcement. When when the when the judges. Okay, you want me to come over in your yeah, office yeah. when? All right, sounds good. So, so many announcements today. It's crazy. Uh, so much has been happening at Comma. I know it's it's very busy lately. So yeah, this is an honorable mention. This guy does only get one hoodie, even though he. <laughs> He's done multiple videos. 
<laughs> so uh, appreciation as well. Yes, yeah. we really we appreciate it. And we hope you keep making videos. I think they're great. There's literally no Subaru content creators out there, so you kind of got mm. a good niche there. All right, another honorable mention: the good old Logan Legrand. Uh, we're longtime fans of Logan Legrand. Longtime fans. He's got some great content, great explanations. Yeah, I'm sure most of you know Logan as well. Ooh, we're showing off what. This is our honorable mention. There it is. We're gonna ship you a comma hoodie. If you are jealous, you can get one on the shop. Yep. Comma.ai <laughs> slash shop. $89, so. That's right, we'll be uh, sending these to our honorable mentions. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're very nice. Very high quality, high quality hoodies. So yeah, what I love about Logan's, Logan got a new car, first of all. Oh, got, got a Highlander. And he told me that he thinks the tuning lateral and longitudinal is better than his scroll. I think the Highlander is the, the highest turning rate I've seen on any open pilot cars. I was doing some metrics on uh, what's the strongest open pilots ever turned from the data set, and uh, Highlander came up a couple times. So it seems like it's got uh, some of the best lateral uh, control available. Yeah, this is a cool laneless going through uh, a street like that. Really nice. And, uh, you know, Logan knows we, we always like when he makes a video. He's always, uh, you know, very good. Yeah, this is actually and, fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. He's, he's showing it. Uh, oh, he said the Highlander's pretty great so far, he just said. So I know you keep getting comma stuff, but now you're getting a, a hoodie. I don't know if you already <laughs> have one, but you're getting another one. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically he's uh, driving straight into this intersection. And then now you can see... Yeah, well, oh, that's nice. When pilot made a decision. Yeah, I think it's great that he's looking, showing the challenges of laneless yeah. as well. I mean, laneless is great at a lot of things, but there's also things we're still working on improving and just inherent challenges. I think it's really cool that he gives a pretty complete picture and like the stuff that can still be worked on. That's yeah, cool. so there is one bit that I want to show where basically there's a parked car and laneless, you know, slightly goes around the car, which is pretty cool to see. Yeah, that is really cool. I wonder where uh, that is. Where it was. This video is all full of uh, good, good info. So, we somewhere here. Let's see. This is the intersection one, which is also pretty neat. Oh, it goes yeah, right this through is the there. Intersection. I guess it was somewhere here then. Hmm. I think it was later. Oh yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that there is a. Uh, parked car on the road it looks like a lead car but then you see laneless you know, slightly take yeah you know it's, it's like showing the intros cars. of something amazing yeah exactly you know it's a work in progress it's getting better every release um and i think uh, i've been working on the end-to-end -end, uh, long tunnel stuff now recently and i can see a lot of uh, a lot of potential i'm very optimistic i've been focusing a lot of bugs very excited about the next next demo yeah yeah, well, one of these weeks maybe we can do another. Yeah, once we get the next round of improvements on a branch, I uh, can see again, people can see the progress. Yeah, so congrats, Logan. Thanks for your submission and your continued uh, support. We really appreciate that. Mm. All right, another honorable mention. You can probably play this. Well, we can play this one. We'll see if you can hear it. Uh, a lot of people around the office really like this one. Well, it's, it's first of all, it's by JS. Mysterious name. <laughs> I like JS a lot. JS does a lot of cool, like uh, just showing the end to end stuff, even longitudinally. But yeah, here we go. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I like this one. This is a punchy little ad. Yeah, pretty this is, cool. This stuff. is an ad, yeah. Yeah. Good, good beats. Yeah, this is good beats. We couldn't pay enough to get an ad like this. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you ever saw Open Pilot on TV, here's what how you see it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If you ever make a Super Bowl ad, ad yeah. I want it to be like this. <laughs> yes. Whoa, look, it's making a lane change with no lane lines. What? That's impressive. Dude, is it even a lane change if there are no lane lines? Yeah. <laughs> so there's just something completely different. Philosophical question <laughs> <Yeah>. there. <laughs> Whoa. Is that, was that an actual drone shot? Yeah, oh, I think so. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is great, uh, great ad. Like a human. We might have to use that slogan later. <laughs> Once we Very punchy. Our full end-to-end nice. -end more. 
I'm a big um, fan of that one. So we love that. You'll be getting a hoodie. Thank you so much for your continued content. It's getting, you know, every video you make I, I see is getting better. So ke definitely keep it up. We really do appreciate it. All right. So we've come to the this point where we got the final winner coming the final up. Final winner. Yes. And another new content creator, someone who's never made an open pilot video before. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> we always like new community members. We do. All right, Harold, try to. Uh, this one, this is less my my so, yeah, I don't my think ethnicity, you should, uh, you should. but I'll go with. Uh, Sit this one out. <laughs> <laughs> How about you do this? Yeah. <laughs> of course, Jay. Yes, good is, job. Uh, Sci-fi. <laughs> that sci sounds good. Oh, oh sci-fi. Sci it's oh. sci-fi. Oh, oh my god. Sci <laughs> so sci-fi, congrats oh. for winning uh, the <laughs> lameless so yeah, category. <laughs> <laughs> so afraid we yeah. couldn't even see the fun. <laughs> <laughs> It was just like a plank from, from Ed, Ed, and Eddie is the profile picture. That's hilarious. That's, that's um, funny. All right, yeah, let's just, we'll play a brief bit of this video. It's pretty, pretty great. It's like a Swiss town. Ooh. Oh. Wow. You know, it feels like there's a really good script in this video. Like, it feels like, yeah, I really know what they're doing. This one really communicated things super clearly. Yeah really communicated what laneless is and why it exists and why we're approaching the problem the way we are yeah so yeah it's great he starts and been like hey how come you can't just have a car that you know just stays in the middle of lane lines and doesn't hit anything but it's, it's harder than that and he he shows off some great examples here where we do really good i think my favorite i mean th this is always a fun example the the country back road where we do really well, even with no lane lines. Wonder how long this guy's had open pilot. He's got his hands near the wheel as well. Yeah, I think the, the stickers are popular on the steering wheel. This is the yeah, second yeah, person yeah, I've seen like that. Yeah. I've never thing? seen that. Do we need to start doing that? Mm. That's pretty neat though. Yeah, oh, cool. look, there's a truck coming on. Yeah. Yep. This is, oh. I, you know, I was surprised that oh. he didn't have to take over here. It just, nice. uh, it was cool. hugging right enough yeah, that it was no issue. He's tr trusted very much though, even though there's an oncoming truck. Yeah, so. Yeah. Pretty sweet. And then let's uh, let's go over to my favorite one he shows, which is... Uh, oh, yeah, this one's good, too. Yeah, check this out. You're not going to believe this. So he's going through an intersection, first of all, and he's saying, like, you know, how that's cool in itself. That was a curved intersection. But then look at these crazy lane lines going on over here. Like, what is that? Mm. If we had any hand-coded policy, you'd be so screwed right now. because it's be really confused. I'm really impressed with how good the video footage is in this uh, this one. Like the the shots of, uh, I guess, of the GoPro in front yeah. look mm -hmm. really really good, and it's explained super clearly. I think this is a very well deserved win. Yeah, definitely. So you win. Sci-Fi. Five hundred and forty-four dollars <laughs> and forty-six cents. Congratulations. So yeah, you know we're really loving all the community videos. Definitely keep it up if you like making videos. You know, I, I definitely enjoyed it when I was making open pilot videos. It's a lot of fun to just drive around and see what the system can do yeah it's pretty fascinating yeah it's a very impressive set of videos I'm yeah really, really happy with all the all the content yeah yeah for sure definitely definitely yeah good stuff also it helps around uh, everyone else who already has open pilot or who is planning to buy just uh, it's just good to see people in the community making videos and you know yeah and um, just nice it's nice all around. So everyone keep it up. I think we might have made some new open pilot YouTubers with this contest, which is fantastic. Yeah, keep awesome. it up. I mean, you know, Logan has a lot of subscribers now. I got a lot of subscribers just from doing open pilot videos. So if you have any YouTube aspirations, this <laughs> might be a cool route. Think of how many people do FSD videos. You know, we need more more open pilot content out there. Yeah. Definitely. Should we uh, go see what George's announcement was? Yes. George, you ready for your announcement? Yeah. All right. Going in. Wow. Uh, no, it's just not on a computer or anything. Okay. Uh, so, a um, bunch of things. It's actually on the board if you guys are paying attention. Uh, how to approach this? Let's see. Um, You have this concept of, uh, like, uh, Pareto optimality. Is there anything that comma could be doing better? Um, and then, you know, you have, you have optimality with respect to constraints, right? 
uh, and something I've said around here a lot of times that should never be a constraint is uh, non-recurring expense or uh, the amount of money that uh, you can put into things, right? Uh, a lot of companies, now of course, spending money is not good. Uh, spending money is bad. Uh, hiring people is bad, right? People are cost. Uh, this is, a lot of people don't think about business like this. They think about, oh, people are growth. No, 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 no. Sales are growth, right? Like, like I guess for some people, uh, you know, maybe it's kind of like an all attention is good attention kind of theory uh, where it doesn't matter if your growth is in negatives or positives, as long as the numbers are getting bigger, some people are happy. Uh, I, of course, don't feel that way now. Uh, so we are uh, raising a small amount of money. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to be SEC'd, you know, I don't want to be SEC'd here. So like, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, what I'm not allowed to say. I didn't, I didn't consult with my lawyer before talking. Um, the, it's no, it's, I'm not gonna, okay, now I'm gonna send you this link right now to an ERC-20 on, on Uniswap and y'all should ape it. No, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. Uh, the minimum investment is a million dollars. Uh, we have a whole bunch of people already, uh, basically that we've reached out to, uh, you know, just people we've been in communication with, um, accredited investor, obviously a uh, million dollars minimum, and then, um, sort of mission aligned. Uh, if it's the kind of thing where you think you're going to get in, you're going to, you're going to flip or you're going to push me into spacking. You're not, you get no control. Uh, but Yeah, we haven't raised money in a long time. We are a profitable company. We don't have to, but there's two things that we can do better uh, than we're doing right now. And the first one is our data center for research. So the amount of data that we're processing is going up and the amount of operations we need to do on that data is going up. So models are taking longer and longer to train given a fixed size of the data center. So we want to make the data center bigger. Uh, we're never going to IPO. This company is never going to be owned by bankers. Right. So once you IPO or you SPAC, your company is owned by bankers. Right. Um, and bankers don't create value. Uh, bankers are middlemen. So we're, we're not interested in, in, in anything like that. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's private equity. Uh, now, you know, uh, I don't know how much should how much am I allowed to say? How much do I say in private conversations? It's on YouTube. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know who you are. Um, if you're interested and you approach in the right sort of way, uh, there's a possibility you could be uh, included in the round. But again, it's really about people who are aligned with long-term value creation in the future. Uh, and hopefully there's enough of them out there because honestly, if there's not, well, fuck it, we're not raising money. Uh, but if there are, uh, you can, you can, uh, subtly reach out, uh, and I will justify our valuation, talk about our plans in the future, but there's two basic things, uh, that money would, while it's not necessary, money would help us. Uh, one is buying a larger data center. Why don't you just put everything in the cloud? Yeah, great, great, great. You will own nothing and you will like it. Uh, no, 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 we don't like that. Um, the cloud's very expensive, uh, especially for deep learning. So we do, we do all our machine learning stuff on premises. We need a bigger data center. Uh, and that also means we need a bigger office. Um, we have the, the main thing that we've exhausted at this office is the power. Uh, so we're out of power and we're going to get a new uh, office with more power and a bigger data center. And the other thing, and we could do this with debt, but you know, I, I think that uh, if you're the right person, you learn the details of the round, you'll see why we're doing it this way, um, is purchasing parts in bulk. So the comma three costs us a lot to make. Uh, I've, you've seen me gripe about this on many videos. Um, the, the gross margin on the comma three is, is lower than the gross margin on the comma two. Uh, and this is very unfortunate. So for every dollar we, we, we get in from comma three sales, uh, we keep less of it, more of it just goes straight out to our suppliers. Uh, but one way that we can uh, mitigate this is by starting to purchase in bulk, uh, starting to purchase stuff in, 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 in real bulk. Uh, so that's another thing that we can, we can do with money. Uh, 
a new data center in Plano. Yeah, a bunch of a bunch of guys shilling for Texas. I don't know. I think I think we're gonna stay right here in San Diego. Uh, I don't think we're moving. But yeah, so that's that. If you're interested, you know who you are. Um, the main thing we're looking for is people who are aligned with uh, a long-term value creation for the future and are not interested in uh, finance scams. There's a lot of finance scamming going on today, you know. So we, we don't we don't do scams. Uh, we're here to complete our company mission, which is to solve self-driving cars while delivering cheap intermediaries. So I think that's that announcement. I don't think I really have anything else to to to, to say about that. Uh, but yeah, what, what is it? Oh. It's, Four things, four things, COPD, you know, it's easy to remember, right? I remember my talking points, right? <laughs> uh, cars, office, parts, data center uh, are all places where we can expand uh, in such a way that we can accelerate the uh, mission of the company. I accelerate the mission of the company. That's the right way to do it, right? So, so maybe two years ago, there wasn't really a way. Maybe a year ago, there wasn't really a way. Like a bunch of people reached out to invest and I was like, well, you know, really tell me how uh, if we raise more money, uh, we can accomplish the company's mission faster. And I got back a lot of bullshit. I got back a whole lot of bullshit about, well, you could hire more people. You could hire people and pay them more money. God, all you're looking for is ways to, you know, you know, it's like, like, like more people. People are a liability, you know, you know, like we, we hire, we, we hire people. We have, we, have, we have great people, but it's not about like some like what we're trying to like, oh, well, I got to grow. I got to grow my influence in my division. So if I hire more people, my division gets bigger and I have more influence. You see, see, none of that, none of that, you know, comes a dictatorship, right? But you get the benefits of dictatorship. Um... Yeah, uh, bulk orders, how big? You guys haven't sold that many threes. Uh, on the order of magnitude of tens of thousands. Um, would you shifting to drones? No. No. Uh, drones, you know, the main problem with people think that self-driving cars there's some regulatory barrier for them there's not the self-driving car barrier is almost entirely technical uh the drone barrier is almost entirely regulatory uh, it's actually really easy to make a drone that can fly from point a to point b because you know there ain't much to hit in the sky uh the, the problem the reason we don't have drone delivery services has everything to do with faa regulation uh, and nothing to do with practicalities of building it at least i hope so i hope you know it's a much easier problem than self-driving cars i don't know maybe maybe we've declined to a point where we can't even solve that anymore uh the dictatorship eventually falls yeah so does the democracy so does every form of government the trick is to you know uh sow the sow the seeds when the when the growing is good uh does this round of funding mean we'll have an actual data center now what do you mean by actual data center? Um, I, I learned the kind of cooling we use in our data center. You know, it's like we don't have air conditioners. We just bought a bunch of fans. This is apparently a real thing. It's called free cooling, and Facebook does it now, too. All these suckers were spending 40% of their power bill on air conditioning. Right? So, no, we're going to still have free cooling. Um, we are going to do, we're going to move the filters into the air system and not to the front of the computer, so we won't have those stupid filters on the front of the computers anymore um it's, it's not a data center it's a compute cluster we're never going to have a real data center we're always going to have a compute cluster and that's for legal reasons um can i officially call it a data center hell no sorry i should not have said data center uh s you know data center slash compute cluster g you know what i'm saying uh so yeah there's that um Nothing to hit in the sky. Are you playing aliens as fake news? Where do these people come from? Uh, I'm on equity crowdfund. God, what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on 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 Weesh or whatever those things are. Eh, not for me. It's not for me. You know why? Cause like you know, look, we're gonna get like probably really it's gonna be like five people. 
and I'm going to talk with these five people. And if they're good, reasonable people, they're let into the round. If they say things that secretly let me know that they're dirty bankers, well, then they're not welcome in the round. Um, but, you know, the equity with the crowdfund things, it's like, oh, I want to blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean? So, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, no, I'm not. Crypto's crypto. While it's not the bankers, it's another class of kind of gross people. I mean, no, you know what? They're better than the bankers. They're better than the bankers. But uh, no, we're never doing a, a, a coin. Um, so comma can never be acquired. Uh, I mean, I'm before and after this round, I am the majority shareholder and sole board member. Uh, the only way comma is getting acquired is if I believe there's a company out there actually more capable of achieving the mission. You know, you guys heard the expression YOLO? You guys know what it stands for? You know, you only live once. Do you want to live for bankers? I don't want to live for bankers. I want to, you know, build AI and save the world, right? Uh, what is our vision stack and our place to car ACC? Is comma a unicorn? Uh, no. Uh, our valuation's not that high. I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a scammer, right? Yeah. I, uh, again, if you're the right type of person, you reach out. Uh, you get you get all the details, and uh, our valuation's not a billion yet. It will be. It, it, it will, here's here's an argument. Here's a here's a simple argument for a billion dollar comma valuation, right? So if we if our final version of the device is a thousand bucks and we sell 100,000 of them per year. Uh, that's 100 million in revenue with a 10x revenue multiple. That's a billion dollar company, right? So pretty, pretty straightforward, uh, pretty straightforward argument. Um, and 10x revenue multiple is small. Uh, for reference, I think mobile I sold at a 42x revenue multiple. So, you know, maybe we're actually, maybe if we're actually selling 100,000 devices a year, which is very clearly a market for, um, we're looking at uh, more like a, $4 billion valuation. That sounds about right. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good, good sort of a growth trajectory. What opportunities? I kind of hate that word. Everybody says the word opportunity, especially when people refer to things that have like much more normal job, much more normal like terms like job, and they say the word opportunity. I'm like, uh, I don't know. No, uh, more cars. Uh, so we can, you know, like, for example, we should have something, we should have a Chrysler. Right, we don't have a Chrysler right now, and people buy the Chrysler and they have a bad experience. And, like, we don't want that. So we should, we should have, like, one car from every brand. Um, you know, the great thing about, the great thing, too, about all these things I'm talking about is they're buying assets, right? They don't, like, like, I'm not looking to blow the money on something stupid. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't even know. I'm trying to even think, like, how these, how these people blow money. It's, it's just, it's, it's mind-blowing to me. Um... You know, cars are assets, obviously they depreciate. Uh, you could hire another Deeb. If you know another Adib, uh, we'll hire him. We'd love to hire him. Um, the problem is find another Adib, you know? Uh, we're, we're, always, we're always looking. Uh, you're not rich. If you're not rich, you, you get the private equity. You shouldn't play private equity. Uh, the SPACs are disgusting, and somebody should come in and clean them up. But, you know. Nope, 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 nope. We gotta regulate the cryptos, but let the SPACs go. Uh, that's what we get. Uh, you're in a deep in training. Uh, well, you know, you know how a deep started. He started some important quests. Um, don't you need advertising to sell 100,000 units? Uh, how many cars does Tesla sell and how much advertising does Tesla do? All right, it's the same thing. Um, what did Tesla do? Well, Tesla did the same thing that, that we're gonna do, right? Um, you know, okay. The common three is is is... is Something we say a lot around here is the Comet 3 is the most expensive, uh, sorry, uh, it probably will be the most expensive, um, but it is also the most complex device a uh, Comet will ever build. The Comet 3 has a lot of things in it that are overkill, um, which are great, but, you know, as our stuff gets more refined, it turns out we'll be able to make do with less. Uh, so, look at Tesla, right? Tesla launches the Model S, great car, but eventually in order to reach uh, mass markets, they launch the Model 3. Uh, so we have to figure out what our version of, of, of launching the Model 3 is. But the trick is, the Model 3 in a lot of ways is a better car than the Model S. You, you see the same thing with Oculus, too, right? You, you look at the, you look at, like, the, the Rift. Uh, I think, I think, CV1 was 800 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they, they CV, is CV1? 
Crescent Bag, I, I forget exactly what they called it, but uh, you, you see that, you know, and you can buy like a Quest 2 now for 300 bucks, and they're, they're really, they're really, I, I've changed my mind on the Quest 2, I love the Quest 2. Uh, I, got a, I got a new strap, um, that, that improved it a lot. Uh, I got Oculus Link cable, but um, Feci. <laughs> Close. Uh, <laughs> making do with less is a super awesome approach. Well, yeah, that's a common, right? Like, so so Tesla Tesla's cars. Um, you know, the Model Three benefited a lot from years and years of Tesla's experience in building cars, and we're looking for something similar. So, to come back to your question, do we need advertising to sell 100k units? No, we need a better unit to sell 100k units. The Comet Three is not going to sell 100k units. Um, the Comet Three should outsell the Comet Two, and you know, so on and so forth. Uh, I don't stream on Twitch anymore. It requires Facebook. God, don't read the news. Um, any chance of a blog post going over the DM model? You see our new thing about mask augmentation? That's coming out soon. Uh, will more, more of OpenPilot ever go from Python to being rewritten in C? It's almost all C now. Well, part of it's not C. Every, every, like, it's all C. Uh, fortunately for you, Tesla's now a robotics company. Yo, we were a robotics company first. You don't install all that shit from me. Nah, I don't think you still have great minds to think alike, you know. But, uh... uh we do use an efficient MP2. Change its follow distance based on that. Yo, yo, that's such small-minded thinking. Stop thinking like that. As a human, when you drive, do you think, Oh, I'm in a dense traffic situation. I am going to lower my following distance to two. Right? I look like Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's how he drives. Um, nah, no, no hate for Zuckerberg. Oculus Quest 2 is a nice product. I take back all the hate. Uh, any hints for calibration challenge? Computer vision. Use computer vision. If you've thought about that. Um, when's the next robot C3 is going to be stuck on is the brain? Yo, 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 yo. We got, that's what we got this thing for, man. Um, we're gonna we're gonna stick a comma three on a pole. We're gonna we're gonna figure out. Okay, we're gonna figure out. Look, 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 look. Um, uh, cooks and cleans, right? How do we make a comma three cook and clean? Uh, questions about this are: if we're gonna make it cook and clean, well, how many arms do you need? Right, this body's probably good, but how many arms do you need? Do you need two? Or you use one? Okay. Um, if you have two arms or one arm, how many fingers do you need on those arms? ETA level five. All right. Four arms. I mean, maybe you need four. Uh, is there a chance the nav will take over the whole screen? Yeah, we're hiring a designer. Um, we interviewed someone who's pretty good uh, and they're coming to the hackathon. And yeah, eventually we hope for like a unified, the split screen is kind of, a, well, it's the simplest thing to imagine, but I think the stuff can be done better. Um, we're a robotics company. Yeah, we're, we're a robotics company. Uh, the common, I mean, you can think of the car right now as the comma body, right? Comma twos connect to a, 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 we have this car harness, which connects it to the car, right? But if we want to attach it to a mop, well, what does a mop harness look like? We don't. We want it to be generic for, like, mops and brooms and knives and forks and spoons and whatever else you use for cooking. I don't know. I don't cook that much. Pots and pans and stuff. But what is the generic interface to that? It's arms. Actually, wouldn't it be funny if the comma body could get into a car and drive it, you know? That's what I always say. Like, people are thinking they're building self-driving cars. Like, nah, you're not building a car. You're building a person. Um, any update on OpenPilot 0.8.10? Did you watch the rest of the video? Will OpenPilot be fully laneless? Yeah, 0 0.9. Um, oh, oh, maybe there's a lot of people out there who don't know what comma is, and advertising what comma is will help. Advertising is for losers. Uh, building better products is for winners, right? Eventually, if you build something that's just so good, Everyone will hear about it. You know what I mean? Like, you think they needed to advertise refrigerators? I'm sure they did, especially when there was competition. But if you were the only guy who had a refrigerator, your know, word would get around about that. He's got cold beer. Um, 
making mail transporters. I don't even know what that is. Tesla advertises on YouTube. Oh, that's too bad. They should not. Um, don't pay for eyeballs. Don't pay for eyeballs. Right? It's like the corporate version of hiring hookers. Uh, comma isn't user friendly enough for the people that are hearing about comma from an ad. Exactly. So then you get to the truth of it. And the problem is not that we don't have an ad. The problem is the comma isn't user friendly enough. Now, ask yourself this. Are we more user friendly than we were last year? Are we more user friendly than we were the year before? This starts to be a positive thing to focus on, right? How do we build something that is more and more user friendly and easier and easier to use? That's an engineering problem, right? That's good. Solve engineering problems, that's how you save the world. Um, do you buy algorithms from China? Yeah, go to the Shenzhen markets here. You got any algorithms? Yeah, you gotta come, come down here, you know? It's right next to the pangolins. Um, then you can focus on advertising. Or you could never focus on advertising. That's an interesting idea, man. What do you think of that? Uh, yeah, we, we have a well-priced product to sell. The Comet 3 represents, like, the flagship. Comet 3 represents the, 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 the high-end. It's nice. It's real nice. It's not the iPhone SE. You consider an AI on bikes. Oh. It's time, like, sometimes I think you guys are GPT-3, you know? Have you considered sunscreen for cows? There's a Malcolm in the Middle episode about that. Uh, what's your role in comma? That's a personal question. Uh, it is well-priced. Uh, yeah, I think the comma 3 is worth it for what you get. No, but remember, it's also, it has to do with, like, a market which evolves over time, right? So, like, yeah. Um, advertising is scam. It does not work. I mostly agree with that. Uh, also, you have to remember who you're enriching with advertising, right? Like, some of it, if we ever even considered it, it would be, like, direct with certain, you know, sort of content creators who we'd want to fund anyway. Anybody who's paying for Google and Facebook ads, it's unforgivable. Like, it's, it's really, don't do that. Don't starve those companies. Um, you know, you can figure out how to directly fund people. It's like, hey, you make cool content, you know, yeah, yeah, shout me out, maybe, we'll see. Uh, do any electric cars work with a not yet. I mean, the Teslas. The Teslas, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Teslas, the Teslas, the... Uh, I think a bunch of, uh, you know, hybrid electric vehicles work, you know? Yeah. Dionic and, you know, Prius plug-in hybrids and stuff. Yeah, 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 Prius Prime. That's, 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 that's an electric car, right? Yeah, I guess. You can, I mean, can you go highway speeds with an electric car? Yeah, you car? can, on the Prius, yeah. Some people, yeah. like, fill up once every, like, half a year. If they have local. Well, yeah, but can you get on the highway? Even if you're yeah. going, you're going short distance. All right, cool, yeah. cool. Uh, do you mind Ethereum on your GPUs, but you don't need to deep learn for extra cash? No, because power is so expensive here. Um, oh, what's customer fund? Oh, uh, you'll find out after we raise money. Uh, you know, it's just. We, we want to make sure that, that you know, the, 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 the Comma 2 uh, had, it was less reliable than we all would have liked. Um, you know, it wasn't, some people make the situation out to be much more dire than it actually is, but, you know, it's not perfect and it's a way that we can improve. So the customer fund would allow us to do something like, you know, if hypothetically we ever did a, a, a Comma 2 buyback, uh, maybe even if your Comma 2 broke, we would include it in the buyback, right? Now this, you know, we lose money on that, but it's, you know, it's like a customer loyalty kind of thing. So that's, that's where the customer fund is, you know. Uh, Ethereum mining is insanely profitable. Yeah, maybe it is. It burns our GPUs too. Like, oh, great, we're making $17 a day burning our GPUs. Um. Is Ford still out of the question? No, the new F-150 should work. 
Uh, the problem with Ford is that it's only available on the high trim cars. Like Toyota and Honda, it's available on all the cars and that's why it's a lot better. You're making $2,400 a month with 10X 3080s. All right, I will briefly do the math on Ethereum mining with our GPUs and our compute cluster and we'll see if it's worth it. Is the CDF still going on? It's a rolling submission. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you haven't done the CTF yet, go do it. Uh, you still get invited to the hackathon, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a little higher now. Yeah, yeah, the, the bar's a little higher. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't done the CTF yet, um, you're better off buying ETH instead of mining it. But that costs money. Why not integrate with edge devices? Hmm, I don't know what that means. Integrate? With edge device. Do you know what that means? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Sometimes, uh, you know, again, again, sunscreen. Think of all the cows that stand around in the sun all day. Don't they need sunscreen? Um, in before there actually is cow sunscreen. Uh, in not even proof of stake. Yo, we're very excited at Kama for proof of stake because the GPUs are going to be cheap. What's up, Alex? Just seeing how things are going. Yeah, we talked a little bit about our fundraising. We didn't say anything that would trigger the SEC. Oh, thank goodness. We don't like, we are, we are, I'm we are. lawyers this week, so oh, that's right. Oh, my God, lawyers. Um, what happened to Cherry Computer? What, you guys, like, what, did I, did I raise money? Did I incorporate a company? No, I wrote a blog post, you know? Some of y'all, you know, all the reason I don't stream anymore. You talk about um, uh, the hackathon? Yeah, you just came in. Yeah, you want to talk about the hackathon? It's going to be your last hackathon. In this Let you buy a 15% stake in comma? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, right now, 17% of comma is owned by investors. Uh, after this round, it'll be about 19 Miners will move to new coins. Yeah, no, we were talking about should we be mining Ethereum with our GPUs when they're not training? Oh, I didn't mean it's a little wear and tear. Yeah, I don't know, but what if it turned out we could make like a thousand bucks a day? Would that be worth it? I don't think so. No. Even a thousand a day? A thousand a day would be worth it. I don't think we can make a thousand a day. Oh, we use it. We had spare computers? No, 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 no. Uh, the, our, our data center has like a 30% utilization. Oh, maybe it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think it's $1,000 a day, though. I think it's more like $100 a day, and now it's like, all right, we make three grand a month. Great. Okay, I think it's not really worth it. Yeah. i to sell one more company. Um, I, I, think, I think we should just encourage people to buy more um, Torque interceptors uh, have serious safety issues, right? You know, if, if you see someone, you know, ever like, like, like posting about a torque interceptor or how they got one to work, like comma, you know, again, we're, we're about, we're, we're a 20 person company and we can't build a torque interceptor. Right? We don't have the, we don't have the ability to do the safety validation required to like an ASLD level. We, we probably could, but it requires a lot of resources. And like, it's unfortunately one of these things that it's very easy to build one, but it's very, very hard to build one that's safe. And the amount of engineering validation that goes into it, right? Like, like Kama has a safety model. Um, and a lot of like, we can mess with our models. We can change, we can change our AI models to be whatever. And they don't impact our safety model because we're using a lot of the safety that's built into the car, right? We use the messages that the car shipped with uh, and that the car is designed to use to, to turn the steering wheel and to hit the brakes for ADAS systems, right? When you start trying to hack in ADAS systems to cars that didn't ship with them, they put a, the, 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 the manufacturers and the tier ones who make these steering racks put a lot of effort into making sure those things are safe. Um, so, you know, I, I'd be really worried if I saw, uh, if you see things like torque interceptors or things that start to like spoof parking modes, um, using these things in ways that they were really not designed for. Right? Like Open Pilot doesn't use the car in a way that it was not designed for. We just put smarter uh, AI basically in the camera, 
to make better steering decisions than the ones the stock camera makes. But if you start actually changing what the controls look like, you're in, uh, you're in an area where you can have a lot of issues with functional safety. Um, could a Panda set off airbags? Probably not. Uh, yeah, there might be some ways to do it, but they would look more like exploits than they would. There's no normal CAN message that will set off an airbag. The sensors are directly wired to the airbag controller. Um, airbags are another thing that are ASLD. Um, I believe it's ASLD to not have unintentional airbag deployment. Uh, because, you know, again, unintentional airbag deployment, you're likely to cause an accident. Um, the same is true with a, a bad uh, electronic power steering. Um, in terms of processing power, how big of an improvement will the new compute cluster be? Uh, 5x. We're looking at 5x. Uh, we're looking at we're looking at 5x, and what's the what's the, we got two million dollar budget? So uh, yeah. Uh, Two million dollars—the whole budget includes the, the the build out of all the of all the stuff. We, we've spent about half a million on the data center so far, so yeah, we can get five x with with, with with two million. Uh, actually, maybe even only a million, but that's the conservative budget. Uh, all right, cool. If I'm getting asked about baseball teams, <laughs> that's time. That's time. That's the end of the stream. One person uh, always ruins uh, it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did like Houston. I like Boston too. They're nice cities, but if you said the Yankees, eh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye, George. Bye. <laughs> so again, thank you all for the video submissions, and uh, definitely check out the CTF if you haven't. I'll put a link in the video description. You can still do the CTF, and uh, we, Comma Hack is going to be, I believe, November twelfth to fourteenth, right here in San Diego. So if you're still interested in that, definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, congratulations to the winners of the video contest, and we'll see you all in a different live stream later. Bye.